going to keep doing that until I no longer suck. Until I'm ready to start sucking at something else. And maybe what I'm going to suck at next is marine animals. I suck at drawing marine animals. Was, oh no, I know what I had. I had black velvet slippers that had skull that had skulls embroidered in silver thread on the front of them. I'm going to keep that my fingers the same distance and I'm going to measure three, four. So that height of that building, that piece of building there is one quarter. Let me see if I got that right. Two, three, four. I did. Yeah. So we went from living in this house with these servants to living on a kibbutz and being basically like manual laborers. And uh, that was our house. That was our kind of scene. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 22. And here, of course, is the Green Hornet, the famous vigilante, I think began as a radio personality, radio character. We should go and get a job at a pen company. I mean, illustration, those pen illustrations. I think our jobs are busy enough as it is. <laughs> I guess that's true. <laughs> if anybody from the Department of Treasury, or more specifically, the Secret Service, which oversees forgery, um, you will know that I in no way intended to make an actual banknote. This has become tedious. I'm sure it's become tedious for you to sit here watching a grown man draw tweed on a Campbell soup can. I mean, this is about as, as dull as it gets. So thank you for putting up with it for as long as you did. We want to keep you company in a safe way, of course, and we want to make some art because making art makes you feel better. Art supplies wise, I am uh, somewhat bereft because um, when we went on this vacation, I took my iPad because that's what I've been drawing on of late. And uh, so now I'm kind of scrounging around for office supplies. I was thinking you could maybe draw the sole of a running shoe. But then I thought, well, that is a little predictable. So, I, I'm, I'm not a big fan of this page. I actually, yeah, I actually I don't really say, like I, it. I love that page. I love, I love you the do? contrast of the big contour drawings and then the smaller, deeper. Th I think it's mm. great. I, th I do. You undressed yourself and put everything out there. That's nice. Oh, you th you there's you thought I was going to draw it on me. Is this drawing a metaphor for what I'm talking about? A combination of dark and light? Perhaps it is. <laughs> kind of looks like a pig, but it feels like a car like, like driving right at you. Right? We're kind of like this weird commune of middle-aged people. Sitting at our computers all day, drinking beer in the early evening, playing cards. And now we're going to have household duties. Maybe we can get, make one of those chore wheels. <laughs> That's a funny idea. I just thought of that. That is a work of art. Um, yeah? <laughs> you look actually a lot like my grandfather. <laughs> I spent part of the morning thinking, uh-oh, this is it. Shortness of breath, putting my hand to my forehead a lot to see if I was getting a temperature, all those kinds of fun things. And then um, I did some vigorous exercise. I made a vigorous film for you. I did a bunch of work. And by dinner time, remarkably, my COVID-19 had receded and I was fine. There's, there's probably something uh, in my mind where uh, I want to find again uh, this uh, ju juvenile uh, pleasure I had uh, to draw uh, when I was a kid uh, at school. I think I've gotten a bit too complex in the last few days, what with 
lots of videos and interviews and kind of incomprehensible drawing assignments. And so I'm going to try, at least in the meantime, to be clearer and simpler and focus more on drawing. I'm probably going to be continuing to blather through the whole thing. Can't help myself there. So that's it. That's me today. That was interesting. I, I, I didn't think that that's what was going to happen, but it did. I was outraged to find out that my niece had signed up for somebody, some other company's online watercolor class. I was like, what? Are you serious? There, there are other people who teach watercolor lessons online? Didn't even know there was such a thing. I thought we invented that, but no. Turned out she had. She was like, oh yeah, I, oh yeah, I forgot that you guys do that. I said, okay, good. You're out of the will. I think they call it sfumato. Is that what it's called? Is that, you know, you see it in, it's like in Da Vinci paintings. That's when I think I first encountered that idea of things are further away through the atmosphere and they tend to become cooler. That's quite a big, uh, yeah, that's crazy. Stick, yeah, only... stick to plants, I think, yeah. <laughs> yeah, no, this is quite inspiring already, so. We thank God for Procreate, because it is, I mean, if you have to, if you have to be without anything, but if you can only have a desert island tool, boy, give me this. That last line that I added just messed the whole perspective up. I was like, I nice that. one. I thought so, you were perfect. Um, I bet this guy never imagined that a hundred artists would be sketching him. It's true. Actually, there are 352 artists right now sketching him. I wonder if this guy is still available for adoption. Probably not. I'm sure by now. He's found a home. Ha! Huh. As I've said to you several times here, the reality of um, our present moment is something that we can explore and understand through drawing. And that's why I think making self-portraits every week is helpful. I can. I can. I think that pretty well gives us a finished little painting. From all it of does. us here, happy painting. I'm glad. Wait, I'm not done. Oh my God. That was hard. How great was she? How amazing when her voice came out. And I just love the look of her and those glasses. They were just beautiful. Again, it doesn't matter if it's good. Nobody needs lots of really good drawings of freeze frames from TV. That's not the point. The point is just exercising and getting it going. Okay, that's I think part of the, the trick of this is how do you not make yourself look like you are either, you know, that you don't have uh, what they call resting bitch face. Yeah, and there's a certain adrenalized, adrenal, adrenalized quality to doing this kind of drawing because you never know what's going to happen. Do you think that there's like a genetic component to our drawings, like that that, I, that our drawings are similar? I think they're pretty different, think, though. They are pretty different, no. And so, then I just oh, wonder, like, if anybody looked at them, they'd be like, oh, yeah, they're definitely related. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> so uh, give yourself a break, and if you need one, and failing that, go out and... Uh, be a missionary for art and for art making. Comfort, familiar, that's what the monkey wants. That's what that part of our brain wants that says, you know what, when things are terrifying, just give me the familiar, the safe. You know what I'm gonna say next, right? That is problematic. Is it hope being overshadowed by darkness? 
I don't know, I'm sure you art history majors will be glad to provide an explanation for me. You art therapists can maybe, if you can be bothered, can feel like you can dissect it. But for me, it's just an urge, a feeling that I want to keep pecking away at these shoes. And Jack said, I'm going to be a painter. And the, the neighbor kind of looked at me very small, small motion, like, hmm. And, and I just kind of looked back at him blankly. You know, I didn't go like, yeah, I know. <laughs> oh. Less is better. It's a difficult, it's a good mantra. It's a very difficult one to live with. Less is better. Because so often, just coming up with more is, it's easier, right? It's easier to go shopping. It's easier to, I mean, not these days, but in general, it's easier to just go out and get something else. I mean, this is a problem we often have with art making, right? I spent three days in bed, my wife spent four or five days in bed, and we continued to be kind of plagued with it for the better part of a month afterwards. You might say, you know what, there's a lot of talking, Gregory, but how about getting on with the actual drawing? Fair enough. Fair enough, that's what you paid for. When you stand back and look at it from afar, um, you start to get a sense of the balance and see like what is, what is, um, what needs adjustment. This might be so, so um, big that we can't just walk away from it. But we're trying. We're playing golf. We're going to restaurants. But then, if you hang out for a little bit, you start to say, okay, uh, I think it's time I have to go home now because my, I'm starting to get uncomfortable. Um, not because of the conversation, but because of the furniture. I could, I short, could short sing detail. that song. I could sing that song. Ma Last year. Misty watercolored memories. I love it. I love that song. It's so cool. One, more. One two. So, yeah, so that's my page that represents 107 days since I left home. This might be the, my favorite drawing that I've done for an incredibly long time. I need to be, I need alone time, people, to actually do the writing. All right, I'm not getting any happier with my drawing, so I'm going to stop. <laughs> It's, it's becoming more depressing. Marley is more of like a hassock. If you imagine uh, like a 45 pound ottoman covered with fur. Catchers have been prepared for this moment for a long time, right? Catchers, get it? It's a joke. Catchers, they wear masks. What do you want me to take a picture again? Not again. That sounds more like the king of Greece. Who is another king, by the way? King of Greece, who I didn't deal with. I really just was so, he was so boring. I mean, come on, Greece. The guy wasn't in a toga. He was just like in a cheap Banana Republic suit. And I thought, you know what? You're not getting, you're not getting the royal treatment from me. Car. Motorcycle, bus, truck, still my favorite. Or is the fact that this, this guy's looking now, looking at him, he's actually looking kind of sinister, isn't he? Yes. Yeah, I don't know if I'd say they got better as I went along, but um, they happened, right? So we all got some drawing done, that's the whole point. Hey, you're drawing? Could you do a portrait of the entire family, maybe in oil on black velvet that maybe is like six feet tall and uses mainly blue so it'll go with that new couch of ours? Could you? Yeah, we'd need it next week. Yeah, that'll, that'll suck the fun out of it. Here we go. Interesting. 
six drawings in five minutes, ten minutes? Feeling a little verklempt. She's still a bit too cute. She's a bit too cute. Yes! Furcula. I was afraid that this would betray the inaccuracy of my drawing. Wait a minute, you don't, you don't have a furcula. Oh, yes, I do. It's right there. Um, but then I realized it, it's the end. This is the end of my sketchbook. Yeah. But here's a thing to think about. Say he didn't kill himself. And I don't mean say somebody else killed him. Say he didn't kill himself and he survived. I'm pretty happy with this page. Let's have a look at the whole thing. There you go. That's my page of giving thanks. All the things that I've been thankful for this year. When you when you in New York, you're surrounded by stores and you know stuff, so it's harder to feel like it's truly yours in some ways. And sure enough, that place isn't mine anymore. It's not necessarily the way you. You look when you're having a conversation or you know when you look in the mirror to brush your teeth that marker turns into watercolor amazing super cool